All right, guys. So today in Clipflow, we're going to add in background jobs using Active Job, and we're going to use the new Solid Q gem, which is using the database instead of Redis to store the jobs into the queue and pull from there. We use the Puri integrations. So we can just run this all in one, all together in, in a single web server. We don't have to try and host different workers and stuff. Obviously, this is just for small apps. You don't want to be doing this on massive volume. I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's jump in. Okay, so I've just got the repo here. So it's Basecamp slash solid underscore Q. And you can see here, it's a database backed active job back. And the, I guess the reasoning for this, or the reason this came to existence is DHH is making the argument that these days, databases are all running on solid state drives and they become so fast. The difference between in memory and in the hard drive is so close doesn't really make a difference anymore. So they built this tool, so we can now use the DB to pull the from the queue, and it just removes complexity. So when we're small, we can use the same database to run our queue, but then as we grow, we can either pull that it off into a second database just for the queue, or you could pivot into something else. But because we're using active job, it makes it very easy. We just change our queue adapter and away we go. For me here, this is the first time I'm ever using it. So what we need to do is we need to add solid queue to our gem file. So we're gonna jump into our gem file here and just scroll down to the bottom. And we're gonna just say here, solid queue. All right, and I like to just chuck in the, the URL here where we're getting from as well, for feature reference. All right, so we've done that. Now we're just gonna run bundle, install it. Okay, and then what's next? So we can do that. Okay, so now what we wanna do after that's all run is Rails generate solid queue install. All right, Rails generate solid queue install. Let's see what that does for us. So it's done something in environments production. So let's have a look at that. So you can see the environments production. It did something. If I pull up here, we can see what it did. So it's changed, it's uncommented the queue adapter from rescue. And then it's added it in a solid queue right there. It's created a config file for us here, default config. And then it's created two migrations, it's created the solid queue tables, which is the jobs table and it's created the chain add missing index to blocked executions. So that looks like that's been added later. So that's obviously a little change. They've made a little index there. And we've got our gem, we've got our gem file. Cool. So let's run Rails DB migrate now to add those in. Well, so it's created a few tables. Solid queue jobs, scheduled, ready, claim, blocked, fail, pauses, processes, and semaphores, which I actually don't know what that means. It's a semaphore. Let's have a quick look. It's a semaphore, visually single used by flags and lights. Okay, cool. So some sort of thing and adding all the foreign keys and it's adding that index there. All right, that's looking good. We can move on to the next step. So to run solid queue, it looks like you've got to run this rake task here, solid queue start. But I saw down here, which I'd like to try and if we can, and we use Puma for our process. So I saw down here Puma plugins. We provide a Puma plugin if you want to run SolidQ supervisor together with Puma and have Puma monitor and manage it. So you can just add plugin SolidQ. So let's see if we chuck this in. I don't know if this will work or not. Then Puma file here in the config. Let's see, is there a plugin here? Here we go. Let's add in the plugin SolidQ, all right? So now if we run then devs, I want it, there we go. So I can see solid queues running now. What's it doing though? It's just const, does that just keep running forever? So you can see it's running, but I don't know if that's in an infinite loop or not. Yeah, that's interesting. So that just looks like it just, is, is that in a loop, I guess? So I'm gonna just stop that for now. So that's really interesting. So it just keeps running. Let's just see, that's a really interesting one. That doesn't feel right to me, but it, I, I think maybe what it's doing is just checking the queue constantly. So this is all new, so let's just see if we have anything in here. We've got claim, locked, failed processes. So this is claimed executions. So all the table looks empty still. Okay. The only thing there for me is that that seems like it's gonna be quite messy, messing up our logs, stopping solid queue. I'll do a quick read and see if that's normal behavior. Okay, so upon click inspection on the thing, so it looks like unreasonable solid queue polling default. So it looks like it's just, the work is just checking a lot every 0.1 second. That's probably why we're getting that. So if we have a look at this, so this would be listening to kind. So this is the, will be the processes, I believe. So if we just run, let's run this again and have a look. So you can see here, we're running and we're busy polling every 0.1. And it's all queues 
and the thread pull size is five, right? So let me close this off. That should shut down, something's broke there. But what we, it says here, we can look at silence polling to true, so it doesn't pollute our logs. So what we need to do is find that setting, where can we find silence polling? Let's see if we can find it in the solid queue here, where the options, config. So in these settings, so it should be in config applications, config silence polling true. All right, let's see if we can set that up. So we're gonna go here. So what we'll do is let's create a new one here for um, solid queue.rb, solid queue.rb. And then what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna grab this guy, chuck that there. And then what we want this to be is Grab that. All right, so we're now saying rails.application.config, solid queue, silence poly, true. Now let's run this again and see what happens. Something failed here. Address already in use, so we just got an address. And now we can see we're not polling, all right? So if we just cancel this, set this to false, just to sanity check ourselves, you can see it just keeps going and going and going. So that's just, just constantly checking the queue for jobs, all right? So we're gonna just change that to true. We don't wanna see that. That's gonna tidy it up and we should be good to go now. So with that in mind, let's run the server now. I don't know what's, something is blocking here. Something is blocking, socket fine, ready in use. Just need to make sure what's going on here. I don't know if this will actually pick it up. But anyway, let's go and give it a go. Let's try and run something that triggers a job. Let's go later, look for something with later. So what do we have? So we've got the email verifications, we've got the emails, we've got the password reset. All right, let's try to do a password reset and see what happens. So if we go log out, that's sitting behind there, but unfortunately, so anyway. So I forgot password. Now if I send this to ken at email.com, send, let's just see. Oh, we can't verify our email. So we need to verify my emails. Okay, so I'm just gonna verify myself. Yes, thank you. Send. All right. Let's see. Active job. Now, did that use our queue? Jobs failed, ready, lock, claim, sale, jobs, processes, ready. Okay, so we just have to check now. I think development. Development might be using a different queue. Let's have a look. So for production, we've got solid so the queue adapter let's have a look from queue adapter so actually no, 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 delivery let's have a look at that and just make sure that's all connected properly right so i think what we need to do here actually the mailer is not going to deliver anyway for us so what we need to do is use we have, don't have any jobs at the moment so what we're going to do is i think we're going to create a job for something what is it uh, it's hard to think of on the spot what we can create a job for but let's just create a Let's call it a test job. Or so usually we go project slash just test job, you know? And then from here we'll go. So we're gonna go module projects. And then we're gonna call this test job. And this inherits from application jobs. Alright. Then we have a plus format block. So what we're gonna say here is we're just gonna say puts, let's go sleep for fives, and then we're gonna go puts job done. All right. Now, how are we gonna trigger this job? We're gonna trigger this job by going to, let's do this, when we create a project. So once we've created a project, we are gonna say, if project save, so let's just refactor this a bit. So we're going to go is yeah. So basically, what we want to say is this project got save else, mm -hmm. and then what we're going to do is here, just grab this respond to block, copy it, paste it here, and then we're going to remove the is else from here. All right, I think in an earlier video, I mentioned how this is quite different versus why, because this is usually how I like to see it. But all right, let me get rid of this. Because then what we can do here is, in the it's not just responding, but it's also being do something else. So we're going to say project 
projects <laughs> test job dot perform later and then we're going to pass in project so actually this will have project here and then we can just say job done and then we can just say for project title okay so once we create a project we're going to queue this job all right so that's how jobs look like or look in rails pretty simple all right so let's see if we can have this open so if i can just go can at emails All right, so new project, testing job queue. Um, we don't need a thumbnail right now, we can hit create. Channel, okay, so we need to actually choose our projects here. Test job, create. So what happened? So we can see it processing here. So it's, it queued it here and then it's picked it up and run it. And you can see it's run it in here in solid queue. We can see something happened. So solid queues run. What I'm confused about is there's nothing in here. Where does this rock up? Processes. I just have to look at why this active job isn't actually going into, I think it could be a development setting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try add into the config environment development. I'm gonna add in this solid queue so that we use a real queuing backend. I wanna see if that does anything for us. So if I just go here and terminate, restart. Now let's create another one. Second test. You create. Okay, here we go. So now that we're using a real queue, I think before we're just using the development queue. Now we should see this. There we go. So now we can see here, add it to the default queue, projects test job, priority zero. And there's, you can see it finished it five seconds later. So we scheduled at 59. And it'll actually finish a second later. Um, so it didn't quite sleep. And there it is. There's the arguments that it got passed in. So you can see here is the arguments. So it passed in the job ID and the global ID for the project. And then the process that you can see finished at, right? So that actually you can see it as we went through our flow now. So that was actually pretty simple, but we pass it into here and then we can see it inserts the project. And then after that, it inserted into solid queue jobs. Right, so it added that in there and you can see finished that was nil. That was when it was done. And then did it into the execution and then it updated the job at the end and it finished it. And then it deleted the execution and that's it, right? So now we have job processing in the background. So in a separate thread and we can use this in production now so that we can start sending emails and doing all those kind of things. So we don't block the UI or what happens and that can happen in the background, right? So that job obviously isn't real, so I'm gonna get rid of that job for now because you don't need it. But in the future, we can now add jobs. We're gonna mainly use this for mailers, right? So anything that hits later, so all of these email verifications and stuff like that, those will all go in the queue and then be actually sent. So now when we deploy this, we don't have to try and also set up a Redis instance just to manage that because Red, all we use Redis for usually is to queue the jobs and then pull from the jobs. And then we also have to run a side trick kick process to go and fetch those jobs as well. So by using solid queue with this Puma integration, we can do it all in one. Obviously it's not best for massive scale, but we have no users. Right now we're just testing an idea. So once this is actually humming along, I can imagine migrating away from this, but for now, just to keep things simple, I think this is a really cool solution. So we'll deploy it and see how that goes. But thanks for watching.